you so much for watching the Bunkies YouTube channel. My name is John and I talk about home tech from surveillance cameras to NAS drives and everything in between. Today I'm going to be talking about a Synology NAS drive where one of the hard drives is showing errors and could be failing sometime soon. So I went ahead and purchased one on Amazon, a WD Red Plus 4 terabyte and I'll show you the whole process of swapping it out and then also get into the DSM on the repair as well. If you have any questions about this uh, part during any part of the video, please let me know in the comments below and I'd love to answer your questions. If it's helpful, give it a thumbs up and a subscribe if you wanna see more videos just like this. All right, so here I am in front of the network area uh, if you wanted to know more about the rack, um, we basically have a patch panel, uh, just a very basic, looks like TP-Link, 24-port switch, nothing fancy. Uh, the UDM Pro, which I absolutely love, and then a surge protector, and then people always ask, what's this guy? This is the Unify PoE, uh, which comes with an access point, which is actually upstairs. And then we have a Smart Things and a Home Assistant Raspberry Pi. Now this links over to the NAS drive, which we're talking about today. Um, this is a Synology 1511 Plus. It's going on a decade old. It is still cranking. The thing is I'm running out of space. Now, I've had the fans go and I replaced them with Noctua fans and they're actually way better. Um, and if you want to know about that, let me know. We're currently getting errors, IO errors on number one and number five. And what's funny is these two, I believe are, they're not the newest drives in there. This is the newest drive. They're the second newest drives. And they're three terabytes each, which shows up, I believe, as 2.87 terabytes. Now I'm replacing it with a four terabyte red drive. Um, I bought this with my own money. It's the Nasware 3.0 um, SATA, and it's the, I believe it's 5400. Um, RPM, which is fine because that matches everything else that's in here. Now, there's two ways to do this. You can shut it down, pull the drive, put the drive, um, the hard drive on the rail and put it back in. Or you can do what's known as hot swapping. Hot swapping is when this thing is hot, so it's on, and that's the way we're going to do it today. Um, it seems a little weird to pull a hard drive out of anything that's running or working but this does support it and I've done it in the past. It's actually kind of fun to pull it while it's on. I know it's not that big a deal, but uh, I enjoy it. So here we are, we have number five here. Um, and then there's these little locks right here to unlock it. Actually that locks it, they're all unlocked. So you push here and it releases that and then you essentially pull it. So the NAS will notice that it's gone. Um, so this is a WD Black 3 terabyte. Um, I did check the warranty on it. These warranties are actually five years on the black and uh, three years on the red. Um, this one is out of warranty. In the past, what I would do is do an RMA on anything that's in the warranty on IO errors. And then I would save the box, which I have up there, of the last RMI I did. I'd package it up, send it to them. They'd send me a new one, and I'd throw it in. This is the first time where I'm out of warranty and I had to shell out for a drive, but it's totally worth it. So you can now see the Synology drive. Not sure if you can hear the beep, but the yellow flashing light, you definitely feel the heat coming out of this, um, says that there is a problem and there is, the hard drive is in my hand. All right, so what I've done is I've put the new WD Red Plus in this drive sled, tray, whatever you want to call it, just took the screws I had before. This came with four screws, but you never have too many hard, screw, hard drive screws laying around. I always seem to have less than I need. Um, I do recommend when you do this, close this door so you don't break it off. Um, this is an older unit, so I doubt I could get parts for it easily. So now, again, status. Occasionally the alert here will blink. Um, I line it up in the tray here, open this door, push it in, Close it, and then I'm actually going to lock these. I got kids, so you never know. And then now it is in, 
Um, and now we'll move over to the DSM to go through it and show you what I mean on how to rebuild and go from there. All right, so I skipped ahead a bit, pulled the hard drive, as you saw, put another one back in, and now I have the beeping every five seconds. Not sure if you can hear it, but I'll try to talk over it. All right, so how what happened is I had received IO errors via Synology notifications. And when I went in initially, it would show the hard drive as healthy, just like this. So this one's not initialized. That's the one I just put in. But drive one is also showing not that healthy. So if I were to lose two out of five drives, I would lose everything. Now, you got to remember that a NAS on RAID provides redundancy. It's not that double backup everyone thinks it is. Um, so to see this, if I go to the logs, and we'll let this load here, I have these error, 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 warning. So I have drive five, drive five, drive five, drive, drive, drive one, 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 and even four. Um, oh, this was last year. So I had some errors on one. I let it go. Um, here we are. I haven't had them since. And then here we are on five. Um, losing everything would be catastrophic. I do have an eight terabyte drive sitting on top of this NAS drive with all the important backed up one more time. So I have it on my computer, the NAS drive, and on that eight terabyte drive. And then our photos, um, personal photos, which we see as precious, I have on Synology C2 storage. Um, so if my house burned down, or if I did lose those two drives and the eight terabyte drive at the same time, which would probably just be a surge or lightning, um, then I would have that um, photo thing on Synology C2. But to avoid all this, I got another drive. And how I figured out how I wanted another drive or what I wanted, I went over here to the hard drives here. You can see I have a three, a two, a two, a four, and now the new four. What I did is I went to the Synology calculator. I did a three, a two, let's make this bigger. All right, a three, a two, a two, and a four, and I used to have that three in there. And if you can see down here, I had 10 terabytes, a little less than that, with three terabytes used for protection, and one unused. And the reason is with SHR, I've just cycled up drives. One dies. Um, this is the first one I have an RMA. I throw it in the box. I keep these kind of plastic shoe things that go around the drive. I put it in the bag that it comes with, put these on, put it back in the same box I got the new drive from, ship it back to WD, they send me another one. Um, if you put your credit card information in or debit information in, they'll ship you the drive before you re they receive the old drive for RMA, which is really nice. So in one or two days, you get a new hard drive that you can throw in, then you ship back the old one. So their warranty has been really great. I think I've done five or so drives and people say, well, it's because WD stinks. No, they are great on the support. The drive dies or has even IO errors, which typically you wouldn't know on a Windows system or even Mac in like a desktop, but Synology does warn me and tell me. So I immediately pull them out, go to the RMA site on WD. They print a shipping label. Um, I hold the drive and then when I receive a new one, I then ship it out. So great stuff. So what I did here was I took out the third, put in the fourth. Now I have 11 terabytes. I only see a one terabyte increase, but the unused space is smaller. Um, so that makes it really nice. If I was doing a RAID 5, I'd have 8 terabytes and 5 terabytes unused because I have these two smaller 2 terabyte drives, which are the oldest ones I have and have now lasted a little bit longer. Um, so here we are here. So as you can see, I switched things out. It says, attention, please go to the storage manager. Your vol volume's been degraded. And you can see it here. Um, so here I am in the storage manager unused drives. Here's the volume. Let's change this up. Um, and you can see all the warnings here. So if your hard drive fails, you have the same thing. Mine wasn't completely failed. It just has a bunch of errors. 
um, meaning it will fail. It could be today, tomorrow, it could be a year from now. You saw the logs, I had one, the same thing with six, six months ago, maybe even nine, um, and nothing has really changed on it. All right, so now let's go here. Here's the new drive. It says it's not initialized. Um, so that's what we're going to do. All right, so here we go. We'll click action, repair. Now it finds the drive automatically. Um, just as a note, um, if you only have one drive as a part of your volume, this does not work. You have to have a RAID configuration or SHR, which is Synology Hybrid RAID, which allows you to have the mixed disk setup, which is what I have. So RAID 5, this is the new drive. Um, the size comes out to 3.64 terabytes, as even though they sell it as a four terabyte drive because of the math. So it says, warning, all the data on the newly added drive will be erased. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, because it's brand new. So it takes my capacity up to 9.99 terabytes. So I go to apply, and I will let it wait. Um, so I've done this in the past, and it does take a while. I'm not going to film the whole thing, but I will write down the time. We're about 10.30 a.m. Um, so I've had some take. It took, I want to say, over 24 hours. Um, and then when I tried to get into it, everything was jammed. I freaked out. I thought I lost everything. I contacted Synology support, and they said to restart. I restarted, and... It, it, was, it was done. It was done formatting. It was done putting it into the RAID. And that's it. Um, it, was, it refused to turn off. So when I did the restart, I en ended up having to pull the plug, which scared me even more. Um, but it did um, complete what it needed to do. It's just kind of a scary way to do it. That was only out of one drive. The other four, you do the rebuild time. I'll time it this time. And then I'll let you guys know from there. So the beeping has stopped on the NAS drive itself. On mine, it has an alert light, and it's amber, and it's flashing. Uh, and then everything else is green. I also have a blue light for the power, but that's per Synology drive. So you can see status, checking parity consistency, 0, 0.00. So this should take a while. One thing to note is I did mention the 16... Um, 21 plus or 16 XS plus this one right here that I'm looking to upgrade to now this one is one additional drive bay so it has six instead of five but it doesn't support that mixed SHR configuration and one of the things that support uh, said is that on this rebuild process when you have a mixed drives like this it takes way longer when you have more of a mix, and I have a pretty good mix at three, two, two, four, four. Um, and it used to be a three and a three, a four and a two and a two. So the rebuild they say takes a lot longer than say a RAID 5 rebuild where all the drives are the same size. Um, is it true or not? I don't know. I'll take their word for it. I, don't, I haven't seen anyone else talk on this subject. Uh, most people aren't pulling their drives and repairing mixed arrays or larger arrays and timing them, but that, that's maybe something we can do as well. All right, so if you have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments below. If you like what you've seen so far, a thumbs up like would really help out my channel. And again, if you wanna see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button and we'll be back when this gets closer to 100. All right, just to cut back in, about two and a half minutes, is about 10.29 when I started, I got this notice here that the Consistency check of the volume or the swap on my NAS is complete. Now it's jumping into the parity consistency check. Um, and it's at 0.05 in, in five, about five and a half minutes. All right, so we're back a day later, and I didn't get the notice because we've got a lot of stuff going on in the morning, but I have a system event here that it was successfully repaired, storage pool one with disk five at 6.58 a.m. Um, so after doing the math, it's about 
Oh, it was 10, 10, so it's about 21 hours, um, give or take. I think it was 10.29 and then 6.50, yeah, so about 21 hours. Now, mind you, this NAS drive is a decade old um, and it's still cranking. Um, I've heard through Synology support that the SHR rebuild on a larger array of disks is, is just slower overall. And so here I am over here. I've got 9.99 terabytes. Um, and so I've gone up one terabyte. So I had 8.9, whatever, before this. Um, so I went up one terabyte by, ask, by adding this. So 21 hours, not terrible. I mean, uh, the redundancy is what we're looking for. And now it's there. If you have any questions about this video, any part of it, drive failure or Synology's, um, please let me know in the comments below. Again, if this was helpful in any way, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I'd love your feedback on these videos as well in the comments section. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button with the little bell. Thank you so much for watching the Bunkies YouTube channel.